<clears throat> All right, I'm gonna show you how to run DOSBox on your PC. Here's what you're gonna need: DOSBox, Android key. The most current version, it'll be on the site, but for reference, it's 2.7.2, .2. and for Joy key, it's 6.1.1. Just in case it does ever get taken down. Um, that's what you need. That's what I'm using right now. Joy to Key is a nice little program that you will let you use any. Not necessarily a joypad. Well, it's not for joypads, but. Any outside controller, USB controller. I'm using an AppPlay PS3 controller <coughs> at the moment, and it works pretty well with it. So. I have not tested it with Bluetooth controllers, so. Um. If I do, I'll let you know if it works well enough with that. But this works well with any USB connected controllers. Here's a set if you want to punch it in yourself. I'll leave links in the description if you just want to hyperlink. Close that down. Right, I'm going to show you what it does box look like, looks like when you first open it. Up two windows. I just want to worry about that. As you can see, it'll say if it detects it or not. It'll say right here. Mine says right here. I play control for PS3 with four axis, two buttons, and one hat. That's literally the D pad. Alright, let's get to the the more typical part. You have to pay attention to this part. Indeed, it's all I did when I first looked up how to do this. Because I'm not the person who's to learn that way. Or if you just want to do screenshots and not hear me talk, it's up to you. <coughs> but you need to put in is mount. And everything is on my C drive, so whatever drive you have. Put your DOS games on. If it's an external drive, you need to remember remember the letter of that drive and do it accordingly. For example, if it's D, E, F, G, whatever, you gotta do space, mount, all lowercase. It just registers easier, I guess. I just do lowercase to be a little bit lazy. Okay, mount C. But so again, I recommend doing it on your C drive because once you do it a couple times, it'll become natural. So like that. C colon. Oh, am I doing that? Backslash, and then it'll change to that. Now, if you do an incorrect command, I'll show you what that looks like. But you're not done, it's not in the C drive yet, it's still in the Z drive. I mean, it's not registering your things yet. <coughs> Alright. C. On. Now we're in the C drive. Now, to get, to get it to register your folders. To get the path to your folders, it's gonna be CD. You always have to put CD. Keep in mind this emulator is for <coughs> games that are folder based, not CD based. If you download it as a folder, um, this is what you need to use CD space and the name of where I put my games is DG hit enter show up for DOS games oh let me show you this just put G it's not gonna work the letter you have to be very specific you always gotta put CD if you want it to go to a folder you try and do it lazy way or just put whatever the name of the folder Do it. 
I don't see a Lego command. So, you gotta do this crap, bro. <clears throat> I recommend a very short names for folders abbreviations if you decide to do that. I recommend that that's what's easiest for me. Basically, it'll go to the folder inside DOS games. Hit enter. Now you're inside that folder. And T O G H. T O U G H. Sorry about that. Dot X E. Hit enter. Wait a minute. It'll say if it was incorrect. I don't hurt anything, this goes to ban entertainment credit for the game. Here's some examples of characters. Yeah, it's kind of up in your face, a little bit creepy. You're going to have to put some random numbers in. I recommend just putting in any random number. I put 3, 4, 5, 6. Just start whatever random number. It'll go to the purple one. Just let it go to the purple one. As you can see, the menu options tough battle versus battle, tournaments, option, and ends to get out of the game. Go in there. Two rounds. One round. Speed. Let's max out the speed and lower the difficulty. Let's take off the time. And let's go to tough battle. Player selection screen. Oh, for those of you just here for the controls, here's what they look like. It's read from left to right. It's in English. My apologies for those of you who don't read, who don't read English. Player one e is up and left. T is just up and right, and so on and so forth. Here's player two. Move simply use the numeric pad, uh, numeric part of the keyboard. Move from one to nine without five for punches and kicks. Use home page up and and down page. Feel free to screenshot this if you just use joy to key and want to map it yourself, or just switch to switch your for. But I'm going to show you guys a quick playthrough, and this is my best character, so cool. And oh, I just switched, you can switch costumes, so it's pretty cool. Kind of a pompous guy, good on, like I'm fancy with long hair or whatever. Kind of take a minute to load up. This will make it run much faster. This is pretty much full speed. He just ah. And this is running at full speed on my system. Mine's an AMD quad core, so you know, pretty easy to run those games. The catchphrase means you did something. And he uses powers. How do you use your powers? 
He relies on that heavily. I'm just gonna beat you to the drop. Just throw some light kicks in. And I'll throw in. I'm just gonna beat you. Big old Back end. How oh, dare you, sir? Quick little sweep. Yeah, it's a good this little freaking out of run it. And a little pose. Look at a pretty little pixelated face. And they represent a country, so hey, you know the names of different countries and see the flag in the back. Learn something from video games, who would have thought? <laughs> and a little start music. Oh, my apologies for the joystick button mashing in the background. Ooh, I just slapped you in the face. My Russian kick. Strong kick. And your quick kick. I recommend quick hits all the time. If you want to mix it up, it just won't be as effective. But your face. Ooh. I think that's enough. Just in case you guys missed it earlier in the video, here are the controls for this game. We'll close out. What is this? And <laughs> alright, I'm out of here. See you guys in the next video.